Okay, my friends, welcome to today's Soul Growth Building Public Podcast. I'm not going to do this again. This is my fifth time trying to record tonight's podcast. I'm tired. My eyes are burning. I keep yawning. And I'm thinking, what am I offering in tonight's uh, update if I can't even get the update out? But I'm now standing and walking around in my living room, ready to share from my heart with you. So this one is going to get delivered and shipped no matter what. So I'm Dr. Stacey Gonzalez, and I'm the co-founder of Soul Growth, a boutique and unique lifestyle brand creating soulful experiences in a community of women who desire to live the life they love and deserve. And that's what I did today. My day today, while not perfect, because nothing is perfect, was as close to my ideal day as I would like. And that's on the work front. I think there's some things I could definitely shore up on the personal front. But on the work front and on how things flowed and how I was able to articulate and move in and through the work today, felt really empowering, felt really aligned, felt like I was kind of in that flow state zone, if you will. And that included some really amazing time connecting with my family. I did a one-on-one coaching session with my son, who's 22, and was super open to sitting down and doing a coaching session. And what I realized in that, because I don't know about you, but if, if, if you've ever done any sort of coaching, um, the most difficult part is being a translucent, transparent mirror. Maybe translucent, trans, no, opaque, opaque, opaque is the word. I'm sorry. Opaque, where the other person can see themselves clearly in you without any judgment, without any reservation. And it really requires this beautiful, openness is the way I describe it. And it was, it was just such a nice moment. I happened to have time today and he came upstairs and I just asked and I knew that would be something that would be really um, maybe meaningful if he wanted that. And so that was great. And then we had all these calls today regarding um, some other work um, Renee and I do with education and educational leaders. And Things are just pinging and firing, and I can feel my strength, my inner resolve, my confidence, my clarity, my ability to trust my instincts, just every day exponentially becoming more and more reliable, more and more certain. And so about, I don't know, 2.30 or so today, Renee called me for like the 18th time and she was checking in, like, how's your energy? We've been doing a lot today. There's been a lot of things happening. And I said, yeah, I'm feeling great. Like, you want to go on a field trip? And so she popped over to my house, which is awesome because literally I have a co-founder that lives three miles away from my house, um, which still, every time I think of that and say that, it, it just is such a reminder of how blessed and lucky I am. And so we jumped in the car. It was a beautiful, beautiful day in Chicago. So we jumped in the car. We uh, put like, you know, a little thing in the GPS. We found this little gem, gem store, this like hidden gem store and picked out a few little things. And then we ended up going to the restaurant, uh, Mexican restaurant tequila bar where we met for the very first time in December, December 20th, in fact. And so it was just a really lovely, beautiful day today that was a reminder of showing up, setting our intentions, executing, 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 and executing. Um and not placing boundaries on the, on the outcomes. 
not placing boundaries on the results. Placing boundaries on the execution. And that is, I think, the highlight for me. I make the plan, I put the boundaries on the execution, and I watch the results unfold. And for whatever reason, I had this notion for a very long time that I could control results, that I could control outcomes. And that has completely changed for me. And that mindset shift is changing my life. It's changing my life. It's changing my life when it comes to how I think about value exchange, um, in particular when I think about money and the value of money as an input versus the value of money as an output. Totally different, right? And so all these little things are popping um, and the growth feels like it's happening so quickly. And it's almost as if I can't reflect quickly enough. So thank you. Thank you for being on this reflective journey with me as we are building something important. And if you are wondering about what's next for you, if you are at a place where you know there's some change, there's some inner inkling of a sense somewhere in there that's calling you to take a step into yourself, then I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to, to get still, to listen, to allow that still small voice to lead you into what's next for you. And you don't have to question it and you don't have to have it all figured out and you don't need to know the answers. But maybe you just take one step, one step uh, towards yourself. And so as I'm taking one step in greater alignment towards myself. So thanks for being on this building public journey with me and uh, looking forward to seeing where we continue to grow.